hello everyone hello grade 8 assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi at the beginning uh, today we will take geometry and starting a new unit we have yet finished unit uh, one in geometry that was talking about area of parallelogram and triangle and today we'll take the first lesson in our unit which is similarity i know that the word similarity is a new one for you okay but similarity as a concept it is used many times in our daily life like what like we need to get a photo for you with your camera then your photo appears on the screen but it appears minimizing than the original one right okay like what but in the, the both cases it is the, the photo in the camera is similar to you okay okay what else Another example, uh, the data show in our classrooms. Uh, I have my computer or my laptop, and I have something I wrote. Then you can see it on the by the projector on the whiteboard or the smart board. But in this case, the thing that I wrote is enlarged that what is original. But the case of the camera, your photo is smaller than what is, what is, what is your size uh, actually or the size of you. Okay, so sometimes uh, the, the, the two similar things, sometimes it is bigger and sometimes it is smaller. Okay, let's start the first part of our lesson. It is two parts. First, similarity of polygons. Similarity of what? Of polygons. Let's see the definition of similarity of polygons. Similarity of polygons means or I have two conditions, two conditions like you have seen here to say that the two polygons are similar. What are they? First, the corresponding angles must be congruent or equal in measure, and the corresponding sides are proportional. Okay, I know that you didn't understand anything from this. Okay, let's see the two polygons. This polygon one, and this is polygon two. As you see, this, called is, uh, this polygon is called A, B, C, D, and this one is called X, Y, Z, L. When I would say that these two polygons are similar, these two polygons are similar if the corresponding angles are congruent. It means that corresponding means in the same place. So angle A equal to angle X. And when angle D is equal to angle L, angle B equal to angle Y, and angle Z equal to angle C. When the four angles in the first one equal the four angles in the second one, till now they are not similar. The second condition must be verified also, which says that the corresponding sides are proportional. What does this mean, proportional? Proportional means when I put a ratio between the side, the first side AB, what is the proportional side for AB in the next one? XY. So AB over XY and the other side, which is BC, it's a proportional one is YZ. So when I put BC over YZ and CD and it's a proportional one ZL and the last one DA over LX. These sides must be constant. The ratio between them must be constant. What is constant, Yani? When I say, for example, if this one is 8 and this one is 4, as you see, what is the ratio between them? 8 over 4 equals 2. Or when I say 4 over 8, it is half. So this side, half XY, half AB. So if I told you that this one is 6, so suppose that ZY will be what? Excellent, 3. And FCD is 10. So ZL is 5. And FDA is, for example, uh, 9. So LX will be 4.5. So if we verify this one, that when I put AB, which is 8, over 4 equal 
which where is BC? BC is 6 over YZ, which is 3, equal CD, which is 10, over ZL, which is 5, DA, 9, LX is 4.5. They must have equal or constant number or constant ratio. 8 over 4 equals what? 2. 6 over 3 equals also 2. 10 over 5 equals 2. And 9 over 4.5 equals 2. So this means that the ratio between the proportional sides are constant. And all of them in this exercise equals 2. Also, if I want the important note that when I, uh, I want to get the parameter of each of them, if I got the parameter of A, B, C, D, and I have a ratio between the parameter of A, B, C, D over the parameter of X, Y, Z, L, it must equal also 2. And you can try if you add 10, 6, 8, and 9, it will give you 33. And if you got the parameter of the other one, which is 4, plus 3, plus 5, plus 4.5, it gives you 16.5. 33 over 16.5, it will be 2. If you divide the two numbers, it will get give you two. Okay? Okay, let's see some important remarks. The first one says what? In the two similar polygons, if I have two polygons are similar, for example, their name is P1 and P2, <coughs> the constant ratio, which was two in our example, among the length of the corresponding side is called what? The ratio of enlargement. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry or the drawing scale and I think you have studied the drawing scale before in grade 6 okay okay so if the constant ratio sometimes I said that uh, the example of our photo so my photo is minimized than the original one and sometimes in the, the example of the projector uh, it is enlarged than the original one and sometimes it is congruent the size of the original photo is equal to the similar one. So in case if it is greater than one, so polygon one is in an enlargement to polygon P2. And if the ratio of enlargement or the drawing scale is smaller than one or less than one, it means that the polygon P1 is minimizing than P2. And if the, it is equal to one, the ratio, this ratio, if this ratio equals 1, this means that the two polygons have the same thing, that this one will be 8 and this is 8, and so on. If it is equal to 1, it means that P1 and P2 are congruent. Okay, clear? This is the first remark. The second one, in order that the two polygons are similar, the two conditions must be verified together. And verifying one of them is not enough to be similar. You remember the two conditions? These two. These two conditions. Corresponding angles are congruent. If I saw that the angles are equal and he gave me, for example, this angle is 100 and this is 100, this is uh, 90 and this is 90 and he completed and all the angles are congruent in both and the sides are not proportional, so they are not similar. And vice versa. If the corresponding sides are 10, 5, 9, uh, 4.5, and they are proportional, but the angles are not equal, the proportional angles, correspond, sorry, the corresponding angles are not equal, so also the two polygons are not similar. So the two conditions must be verified together. The third one is the two congruent polygons. Congruent means that their enlargement ratio equals 1, are similar, but it is not, not necessary that the similar polygons are congruent. If the two similar polygons are, uh, uh, if um, two congruent polygons 
if you have two congruent polygons it means that they are similar but if you have two similar polygons it is not a must that they are congruent because they may be enlargement or minimizement all regular polygons of the same number of sides are similar it means that if you have octagon it is similar to another octagon hexagon it is similar to another hexagon square it is uh, uh, similar to another square rectangle to another rectangle and so on if each of the two polygons is similar to a third if you have two po similar polygons and you have it is similar to another one third one so the three are similar too the last remark the order of the corresponding vertices should be kept what does this mean? In this, in this example, I have the two polygons. Their name are A, B, C, D, X, Y, Z, L. Okay, A, B, C, D. Similar to X, Y, Z, L. This means that when I I saw this two polygons. You must know that measure of angle A is corresponding to measure of angle X. Okay, this is the order. Measure of angle B is corresponding to measure of angle Y. Measure of angle C is corresponding or equal to measure of angle Z. And measure of angle D is equal to measure of angle L this is the arrangement of them if he wrote for you A C D B similar and similar it's not a must to write similar to in each time the symbol of similarity is like this one okay only this symbol is instead of writing similar to I told you A C D B for example similar to X L, M, N. And I want you to say angle A corresponding to which angle in the other polygon? Excellent. A corresponding to X or equal to X. C equals to L. D equals to M. And B equals to N. This is for the angles. What about if I want to tell the proportional sides? Proportional side, if I told you AB as a side, what is the proportional side in the other polygon? Excellent. X, Y. BC, its proportional side is, if I wrote BC, it's proportional to YZ. CD is proportional to ZL. And AD proportional to XL. Is this clear? And this is very important to know how to write the proportional side from the given two polygons. Another example, if I wrote for you A, um, A uh, for example, A, okay, let's write the same one, similar. M N O L and I want to write the proportional side AB proportional to MN so AB over MN BC it's a proportional one is NO CD OL and the last one AD proportional to ML and the angles sometimes in the complete or in the choose he told you that if polygon ABCD similar to MNOL then measure of angle A equal measure of angle space so A equals to M excellent if measure of angle L equal measure of angle what in the other one L similar to or equal to D 
Is it clear? In this part, how does the question come if I want to prove something? Let's see. Okay, let's think first. The square and the rectangle are not semi similar, although the corresponding angles are congruent. We know that any square, all angles equal to 90 degree, and all rectangles, their angles equal also 90 degree. So the corresponding angles are equal, but they are not similar. Why? Excellent, because we know that, or we said that, the two conditions must be verified. The two conditions, again, the corresponding angles are equal, and the corresponding sides are proportional. Here, the sides are not proportional. Here, all sides are equal, but here, each two opposite sides are equal. So, they will never be similar. Also, the corresponding sides of a square and a rhombus, are proportional but they are not similar if i draw a rhombus we know that the properties of a rhombus that all sides are equal to and here all sides are equal so the corresponding sides of both of them are proportional and maybe they are congruent but what is the problem here why they are not similar because the angles are not equal here all angles equal to 90 degree, here all angles, uh, uh, sorry, each two opposite angles are equal in measure. Okay? Okay, exercise. In the opposite figure, polygon A, B, C, D, similar to polygon X, Y, Z, N. And he gave me some of the sides. A, B equal 6 centimeters, B, C, 4, C, D, 9, D, A, 10, and N, Z, 1 only from the other polygons, which is 3. And he wants me to find the length of X, Y, Y, Z, and N, X. By a very simple way, I know that when the two polygons, they here given that they are already similar. When he gave me that they are similar, so the size will be what? Proportional. So I will write 10. A, B, polygon, A, B, C, D, similar to polygon, X, Y, and take the name from here, Z, N. Therefore, who can tell me what are the proportional size? Take them from here, it's better than from the drawing, because maybe one of them is turned. So, A, B. Write all of them. A, B. Over what? Where the other proportional sides? Excellent. X, Y. Equal B, C. Over Y, Z. Equal C, D. Over Z, N. Equal A, D. Over X, N. And I will replace each side with the given one. AB. Does he give me AB? Yes. AB equals 6. Over. Where is XY? Oh, XY is not given. So leave it XY. BC equals 4 centimeters. YZ also it's not given. CD, 9, and YZ, sorry, ZN, no, ZN in this case is given, AD, 10, and XN, not given. As we see here, who can tell me how can I get XY, YZ, and the XN? Very good. I have here a ratio. And we said that all the ratios are constant. So I would take this ratio and apply with 6 over x over y, 4 over yz, 10 over xn. So if I want to get x, y, z over x, y, suppose it is equal to 9 over 3. How can you get x, y? 
xy by doing cross multiplication equals 6 times 3 over what? Over 9. 6 over 3, 6 times 3 equals 18. Divide by 9 equals 2. So xy equals 2 centimeters. What about if I want to get yz by the same way? 4 over yz equals 9 over 3. Then yz will be equal 4 times 3 over 9. 4 times 3 equals 12. Divide by 9 equals 4 over 3 centimeters. You can write it fraction form or decimal form. The last one. 10 over xn equals 9 over 3 also. Then xn equals 3 times 10 over 9. 3 times 10 equals 30. 30 divided by 9 equals 10 over 3 centimeters. Okay? Also, you can write it 3.3 .3 in a decimal form. So, x, y, 2, y, z, 4 over 3, and x, n, 10 over 3. The last example in our lesson told me in the opposite figure, also a, b, c, d, similar to x, y, z, l. a, calculate measure of angle b, c, d. As they are similar, so the corresponding angles are equal. So angle C, it is equal to angle Z. Oh, so I, I don't have also angle Z. So how can I get angle Z or angle C? Let's see what is given. Given measure of angle A, 125. Measure of angle B, 70. And here measure of angle L is 80. So let's think for a while, how can I get it? Here I have two angles. Can I get angle D? Yes, of course, because angle D is corresponding to angle L, and angle L is given in the other polygon. So angle D will be 80. In this polygon here, I have now three angles, 80, 125, and 70. When I add them, I will find that they are equal to 275 degrees. So how can I get angle C? This is quadrilateral, and I know the sum of its measure interior angles equal 360. So measure of angle C will be 360 minus 275, which is equal 85 degrees. Okay? So you write it as a proof and you'll find the answer of this handout in your SMS uploaded. Measure of angle L, since measure of angle L equal 80, therefore measure of angle D equal 80. Since measure A 125, B 70 and D 80, so their sum equal 275, I can get measure angle B C D by subtracting 275 from the sum of the interior angle of the quadrilateral which is 360. What about the second requirement? He wants to find the length of XL. XL. Where is XL? XL. Okay. I can write the proportional sides. I, it's enough to write these two. Now, or as I have another one and he wants the parameters, so I can write them all as you like. So, since ABCD is similar to XYZL, so AB. I don't know why this one is appearing. AB over XY equals BC over YZ equals CD over ZL equals AD over XL. What is given here? I have here BC over YZ. I have this ratio. BC equals 8. 
over 2.5 and he need XL what is XL here XL AD equals what 6 centimeter so I can get XL it is equal to 6 times 8 uh, sorry 6 times 2.4 divide by 8 it will be equal 1.8 So I got this one, 1.8. What is the enlargement ratio? He is asking about the enlargement ratio. Enlargement ratio, 8 divided by 2.4, which is equal 10 over 3, this 2 ratio. Or when you divide also 6, divide by 1.8, it will give you also 1.3. So this is the enlargement ratio after simplifying 10 over 3. Or 6 divide 1.8, it will be also 10.3 or 1.3. Here he told me if the perimeter of the figure A, B, C, D equal 26. If this, if the perimeter of this polygon equals 26. He want the perimeter of X, Y, Z, L. Do you remember when I say that the perimeter of any polygon divided by the perimeter of the other one, it is also equal to the constant ratio or the ratio of enlargement, which we, have, we got it from before, 10 over 3. You have the perimeter of ABCD26, and you want the perimeter of XYZL, 10 over 3, this is the ratio of enlargement between the proportional sides. So the perimeter of X, Y, Z, L equal 3 times 26 over 10, which is 3 times 26 equals 78, divided by 10 equals 7.8. So this is the perimeter of the other one. And you want to check and you divide the perimeter of the first one, which is 26, divide the perimeter of the second one, which is 7.8, you will find that 26 over 7.8, it is also 10 over 3. This was the first part of our lesson. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you.